I don't know about you folks, but I could really use a drink. And uh, it's the end of a long, grueling week, which I won't tell you about because you don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, and I was dreading this chapter. And then I suddenly don't feel that way anymore. I was dreading chapter three because it was it's more Lehigh dying and giving his farewell address, which is like three and a half chapters long, more or less, where he repeats himself terribly. You know, same shit said over and over again. So, he's still dying, and he won't be dead till chapter four. But things are going to start to come to pass after he passes. This game... I had to change the game. Just not enough to drink in this uh, chapter. And it isn't that interesting. Well, actually, it is kind of interesting. This is sort of a... Uh, yeah. I'll just... I'll save that till we get into it. Anyway, this is the... Fruit of Thy Loins drinking game. It could be Fruit of Thy Loins, Fruit of... His loins, fruit of their loins, you get the point. That's what I'm aiming at. All right, let's get started. Chapter 3. And I promise you, you're going to have a good time with this chapter. Here I was dreading it, and I just read it through and realized, uh, yeah, this is actually a fun chapter. And now I speak unto you, Joseph, my last born. This is Lehi dying and just boring everybody to death, to death with his <sighs> repetitions. Thou wast born in the wilderness of mine afflictions, yea, in the days of my greatest sorrow did thy mother bear thee. That's awful nice to hear. I mean, a little something nice, a little encouragement there, Dad. And may the Lord consecrate also unto thee this land, which is a most precious land for thine inheritance and the inheritance of thy seed with thy brethren for the security forever. For thy security forever. They go again with that word forever. That in itself is a contradiction to this book. <laughs> if it be so that they shall keep the commandment of the Holy One of Israel, and now Joseph, my last born, whom I brought out of the land of wilderness of my afflictions, may the Lord bless thee forever. See, I wasn't reading the same part again. <laughs> forever. For thy seed shall not utterly be destroyed. Hey, that's pretty good when you're talking about the big G. Yeah, he's got, some will be spared. Don't worry about it. <laughs> they won't utterly be destroyed. Nice to know. <laughs> Long after you're gone. <laughs> uh, for behold, thou art the fruit of my loins. Mm. I never thought I'd drink to such a thing. First four. Oh, this is really nice. Shock top. No relation to a babbling lunatic on a motorcycle. For behold, thou art the fruit of my loins. And I am a descendant of Joseph, who was carried captive into Egypt. And great were the covenants of the Lord, which he made unto Joseph. I thought he made those with Abraham. You know, I mean, yeah, nice covenant. Yeah, you got 400 years, and then we're going to enslave all of you. But then you get to go in the desert for a generation and, and try to conquer an already occupied land because God gave it to you. 
Yeah, all this shit makes sense. This is Joseph, like I said, the seer, you know, from Genesis. <laughs> yeah, they've got, they're quoting him. <laughs> uh. Wherefore, Joseph truly saw our day. This is Lehi talking about Joseph, and they're related. And he obtained a promise of the Lord that out of the fruit of his loins... Can I pick a game? See, I like Shaka God. This is actually good. Very good. <laughs> Shock top. Didn't think about it till I got it home. I just keep trying something different. Trying to make this interesting. Out of the fruit of his loins, the Lord would rise up a righteous branch unto the house of Israel. Not the Messiah, but a branch was which was to be broken off. See, they plan to break that branch in advance. <laughs> Nevertheless, to be remembered in the covenants of the Lord that the Messiah should be made manifest unto them in the latter days in the spirit of power unto the bringing them out of darkness in, unto light, yea, out of hidden darkness. That's like an open manhole and a deep shadow. Yea, out of hidden darkness and out of captivity unto freedom. For Joseph truly testified, saying, A seer uh, shall the Lord my God raise up, who shall be a choice seer unto the fruit of my loins. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yea, Joseph truly said, Thus saith the Lord unto me. So this is Nehi quoting Joseph, quoting God. Gotta follow your sources. Yeah, thus saith the Lord unto me, A choice seer will I raise out of the fruit of thy loins. <sighs> And he shall be esteemed highly among the fruit of thy loins. See, this is where you get in trouble when they group them up on you. And unto him will I give commandment that he shall do a work for the fruit of thy loins. Commandment that he shall work the fruit of his loins, his brethren, which shall be great, uh, shall be of great worth unto them, even to the bringing of, of them to the knowledge of the covenants which I have made with thy fathers. And I will give unto him a commandment that he shall do none other work save the work which I shall command him. That's God. And I will make him great in mine eyes, for he shall do my work. <laughs> and he shall be great like unto Moses, who hasn't happened yet. If it's Joseph talking, wow, he's a good prophet. He's like multitasking his visions. <laughs> he's, think, he's seeing Lehi time, and he's seeing Moses' time, which is 400 years after him, and talking to God. This is, damn. No wonder they, he's a special deal. Yeah. Like unto Moses. Whom, oh, yeah. Whom I have, uh, whom I, this is, <laughs> this is Lehi quoting Joseph. Quoting God, okay? <laughs> he, 
and I will give unto him a commandment to do that he shall do no other work, say the work which I shall command him, and I will make him great in mine eyes, and he shall do my work, and he shall be great like unto Moses, whom I have said I would raise up unto you, to deliver my people, O house of Israel. And Moses will I raise up to deliver thy people out of the land of Egypt. But a seer will I raise up out of the fruit of thy loins. Verse 11. And unto him I will give power to bring forth my word unto the seed of thy loins. Mm. Fruit of the seed, yeah, I guess so. That's a close call there. Seed of thy loins, and not to the bringing forth my word only, saith the Lord, to Joseph through Lehi, but to the convincing them of my word, which shall have already gone forth among them. Wherefore, the fruit of thy loins shall write and the fruit of thy loins, the loins of Judah, shall write and that which shall be written by the fruit of thy loins. I shit you not. That's that's verse 12. What is that, 3 already? <clears throat> Damn. This one kicks ass, this chapter. If you read it right. And also that I... Wait, that... all And also that which shall be written by the fruit of... The loins of Judah need to belch, sorry. <coughs> there it is. God, some things are worth waiting for. Delayed gratification. Uh, uh, Judah shall grow together unto the confounding of false doctrines and laying down the contentions and establishing peace among the fruit of thy loins. And bringing them uh, to the knowledge of their fathers in the latter days. Ooh, I sprayed my book. <laughs> That was nasty. Uh, well, didn't hear any thunder. <laughs> I lost my place. Uh, latter days. And also to the knowledge of my covenants, said the Lord. Apparently, through Joseph, through Lehi, to Nephi, and the gold book. And from the brass book, of course. Or whatever the fuck, I don't know. <coughs> I haven't figured it out yet. Still trying to understand. Any Mormons out there, please. Pitch in, pitch in you know. Open channel. And out of weakness he shall be made strong. Grasshopper. <laughs> in that day when my work shall commence among all my people unto the restoring thee, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. And thus prophesied Joseph, saying, Behold, that seer which the Lord, uh, which that seer will the Lord bless, and they that seek to destroy him shall be confounded. For this pro promise which I have obtained of the Lord, of the fruit of my loins, mm. <laughs> uh. 
shall be fulfilled. Fruit of thy, my loins. <laughs> Not mine. But <laughs> None that I know of. Uh, behold, I am sure of the fulfilling of this promise. <laughs> and his name shall be called after me. And that's Joseph talking from Genesis. Although, whatever. Yeah. This is Joseph prophesying from patriarchal times. <laughs> Genesis. The end of Genesis. Joseph talking. The patriarch. Oh. And his name shall be called after me. Joseph. And yes, they're talking to Lehi's son, baby Joseph. That's Lehi telling baby Joseph this shit. Because Lehi is planning to die in a day or something. <coughs> Whew. And I think he's outdone uh, um, uh, uh, Socrates. <laughs> yeah, promise. And his name shall be named after me, and it shall be after the name of his father. So it's got to be a Joe Jr. Well, little baby Joe's dad's name is Lehi. So who the fuck are we talking about, huh? Could it be... Oh, I don't know. Could it be Joe Jr.? Joseph Smith Jr.? It's like Hitchcock stepping into his film. <laughs> Except Hitchcock would never make a piece of shit like this. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Named after... It's named after me, but also named after his daddy, Joe Jr. Jesus. <sighs> and he shall be like unto me, Joe Jr. This is what Genesis Joe is, Joseph is saying. For the thing which the Lord shall bring forth by his hand, Joe Jr., by the power of the Lord shall bring my people unto salvation. Yea, so, yea thus prophesied Joseph from Genesis. I am sure of this thing, even as I am sure of the promise of Moses. Boy, such specific prophecies. Wait till you see them get to Jesus. They're like playing around right now. They keep not naming them. But it's like Zoram. <laughs> They're building up to it. And it's lame. <laughs> For the Lord has said unto me, I will preserve thy seed forever. And the, <laughs> and the Lord hath said, I will raise up a Moses, and I will give power unto him in a rod. Yeah, Moses had a, a magic staff, or a magic, magic wand. Uh, you know, when he went to the burning bush, and it said, throw down your staff, and Turn water into blood, it'll part seas. And give. <sighs> Don't know why they're claiming this. Are they saying Joseph Smith had a magic wand too? Is that what they're saying? I didn't hear that about that one. <laughs> Maybe it's something they were going to try out. <laughs> and I will give judgment unto him in writing. This is lame. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. These are amazing prophecies. That's what I meant to say. <sighs> Yet I will not loose his tongue, that he shall speak much, for I am not. I will not make him mighty in speaking, but I will write 
unto him my law by my finger and my by my own hand and yet he's not capitalized and I will make a spokesman for him oh boy and the Lord said unto me also I will raise up unto the fruit of thy loins And I will make for him a spokesman. And I, behold, I will give unto him that he shall write the writing of the fruit of thy loins. <sighs> unto the fruit of thy loins. And the spokesman of the spokesman of thy loins. There's no fruit. I mean, I was willing to go for seed, you know, seeds. Uh, thy loins shall declare little drink a sip, tiny one. And the words which he shall write shall be the words which are expedient in my wisdom should go forth unto the fruit of thy loins oh i need a belch <clears throat> that's not quite good enough but all right oh and it shall be as if the fruit of thy loins had cried unto them from the dust for I know their faith Jesus ah <sighs> uh. And they shall cry from the dust, Yea, even repentance unto their brethren, even after many generations have gone by them. <coughs> oh, there it is. Uh, and then it shall come to pass. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's always good for a drink. that their cry shall go even according to the simpleness of their words. Because of their faith, their words shall proceed for, shall proceed forth out of the mouth unto their brethren who are the fruit of thy loins. This is almost obscene. <laughs> and the weakness of their words will make strong in their faith I will make strong in their faith unto remembering of my covenant which I made unto thy fathers <coughs> and now behold my son Joseph after this manner did my father of old prophecy. He's talking to a baby. Wherefore, because of this covenant thou art blessed, for thy seed shall not be destroyed. For they shall hearken unto the words of the book. And there shall rise up one mighty among them, who shall do much good, both in words and in deed, being an instrument in the hands of God with exceeding faith to work 
mighty wonders and to do the, that thing which is great in the sight of, sight of God, unto bringing to pass much restoration unto the house of Israel and unto the seed of thy brethren. And now, blessed art thou, Joseph, behold, thou art little. Wherefore, hearken unto the words of thy brother Nephi, and it shall be done unto thee, even according to the words which I have spoken. Remember the words of thy dying father. Amen. Doesn't it sound like it was written on gold? So, I guess we're talking about Joseph Smith. Doesn't that, I don't know, chime in. Uh, that's a prophecy of Joseph, Smith, of Joseph Smith, written by Joseph Smith. Isn't that kind of like Jesus predicting Muhammad in the Quran, but nowhere else? Come on, man, that's... Unbelievable. Anyway, see you in chapter 4 where Lehi dies and things start to come to pass again. So, you guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Peace out.